Hi guys and welcome back to Fit With Tea. So I hope you guys are good. So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my training bag. As you can see, there is a lot. So I won't go through everything, but I'm going to show you some key things that I think might be athlete essentials that you should have in your training bag to help you with your training. So I'm going to start off with the most obvious thing and that is my spikes. So I usually have training spikes and competition spikes. So because it's competition season, I have my competition spikes in my bag and I'm using them for training during the season so that I'm breaking them in. But I generally have spikes in my bag. So in the winter, I'll have training spikes and in the summer during competition season, I will have competition spikes. Okay, so the next thing I'm showing you guys is gym shoes. So these are really, really old, so don't judge me. <laughs> They're really, they're really old. They're more than a decade old. But if you don't have yourself a pair of weight shoes, then I encourage you to get them. Weight shoes have a hard bottom, so usually it'll either be wood or... These are old school, so they're made of wood. And so they help to give you full pushback when you are lifting heavy. So basically everything that you're putting into the ground comes straight back out because it's not soft. Obviously when it's soft, when you're wearing trainers, then your feet sink into the ground when you're lifting. But when you are wearing gym shoes, they help produce that equal and opposite reactive force that you want to help with your lifting. So I encourage you to get yourself some gym shoes if you don't have gym shoes and you are lifting weights. Right, following on from that, I have weight gloves. So I'm extra, I've got two pairs in here. They're both old again, don't judge me. I need to get some new ones. <laughs> I need to get a new a lot of everything. I need to get a new a lot of everything, correct English. I need to get, I need to get a new stuff basically but if you want to bless me then there's a link in the description you can bless me but basically i have gym gloves so if you're like me when you're lifted and you get calluses that's why i wear gym gloves there's some people that are blessed and they don't get those when they are training but i do so i like to wear gym gloves so i also have along with my gym gloves i also have the sweat bands i don't actually use them for sweat or to wipe away sweat i actually use it as a wrist support so my wrist I broke my wrist when I was eight, I think. Basically, in primary school, I had a lot of injuries. I had to go to hospital a lot of times, but I did a shadow on half turn under shoe off of the high bar, and I landed on the floor on my wrist, and I broke my wrist, basically. But I have these in my bag for helping me with my wrist when I'm lifting. Sometimes my wrist get, my wrist start hurting. Yeah, they're still a bit weak, even after all these years. So I have these, and I use them as a wrist support as opposed to using it for sweat. Okay, next up, balls. So this golf ball, so every training session I always roll my feet. But for the bottom of my feet, this is nice and hard. And so I use this to roll up my feet. You can use it as well to help keep your feet nice and relaxed. As athletes, our feet are our, our, feet, our, feet are our gold mines. And so we have to make sure we look after our feet. So I use a golf ball to help roll up my feet, to massage my feet every day. And so, and I have another ball here. I can get real, massage balls but I just use this ball it's hard enough and I use it for like my glutes to help ease out some tight tension in my glutes that I might feel and my hips as well so I encourage you to get some sort of balls in your bag to help you with that self massage or self treatment before training during the session sometimes you might feel a little niggles and you may not have a therapist on hand but having a ball like this might help you and similarly I have a stick in my bag so I do have a foam roller at home and there is foam roller available at the track that I use but for training I have this in my bag and it helps you can use it to roll out your muscles and so I use this like you can use it for your hamstrings your quads your calves you can use it it's a hand a stick that you can roll like that and so I use it for that I keep this in my bag because it's easy to carry and it's nice and handy and it doesn't take up too much space and it's hard and sometimes just for beatings if anyone wants to mess with me i'm really joking and so next i have cones so as a self-coach athlete i do have cones in my bag but you may not need to have cones if, you have, if your coach has cones to hand but because i'm self-coach i do have cones in my bag and i have more cones in my car but i found that keeping these nine there were ten but one's got missing keeping these nine to hand in my bag is helpful if i ever need more i can just run over to my car and get some more next up you know you need this in your bag guys vaseline so for your lips hands people don't like to use it for their hands but i don't mind legs basically vaseline they're all around keep yourself nice and shiny that's me so i have vaseline and obviously hand cream and i've got shea butter in here as well i know it's an astral time i used to have astral but astral decided to make their prices just ridiculous i don't get astral anymore but there's shea butter in here as well so 
but I have these in my bag to hand keep myself nice and creams nice and shiny I don't like dry so that's why I have the theme so that's a must have okay watch again as a self coach athlete I use a watch you may not need a watch if you are if you do have a coach who's timing you etc but if you don't then maybe having a watch to hand for checking your reps it's hard to not, not when you're sprinting you can't really time yourself but you can time your recovery and so I time my recovery when I'm training you know depending on the point in the season where it's more important to time I use my watch to help with that skipping rope so I do skip for my warm-up there's a number of reasons maybe I could do a separate reason a separate video as to why but a skipping rope I use for my warm-up we all know what time it is <laughs> So I've only got a little bit left in this, but you know, I don't need to explain this one, but you know, have that. Bottle, self-explanatory. I've got electrolytes in this. So if you haven't checked out my review of Health Band Elite product, I've got some electrolytes in here. So that's why it looks like that. But again, now it's like summer, I've got my water with electrolytes in it. Okay, along the same line of nutrition, I've got my banana, raisins, and if you haven't checked out my video about the benefits of banana, banana benefits, check that video out. I talk about why I like to have a banana for my training snack, but I also have raisins as a nice quick energy boost as well in training. So if you see Tarima, you probably see her eating a bunch of raisins somewhere in the middle of the session. Same with a banana, somewhere in the middle of the session. So those are my go-to snacks in training. So I have those in my bag all the time. So you might have different go-to snacks, but these are some that I always have in my bag. I always keep my sunglasses as well, these are my running sunglasses, so I was England champion in 2010, under 23 champion, so I won these, so these I keep these in my bag, they've been so handy since then again, more than a decade old, so you guys look after your kingdom, I love having my glasses to hand, these ones were good because you can change the lens, the, the lens comes out and you can change it, but I've kept the same one for all that time. I don't really like looking through orange or yellow, so these are my favourite lenses, so I've kept these ones in, but like a nice day like this, and if I didn't have a hat, you can wear with a hat, but I prefer to wear either sunglasses or hat. And I have my sunglasses always in my bag, because you never know what the weather's going to be saying, especially in England. Yeah, so charger, always there, phone's always there, as you know, but what else have I got? So I've also got bands. Let me show you all the bands. So I've also got the big green one. If you haven't checked out my resistance band exercises video, I show you some exercises, some strength exercises that you can do with a resistance band. So check that video out. But I've got this green one. I've got a resistance band stretch video too, so check that out. But yeah, this green band can be used for so much stretching, strength exercises also do resistance runs so someone holding you and so this is a must have if you are an athlete i recommend you get one of these for sure i've also got the smaller bands that i use my glute activation i use the red one nowadays right of course i've got my training diary this is nearly coming to the end of the season soon so this is nearly finished but if you do need a training diary guys i have got two look in the link in the description box below this is the first edition i've also got a second edition which is a nice colorful cover and it's a bit different inside so check that out that second edition can be starting in any month in any year so check that out in the description box below if you're interested but yeah training diary the must have along with pens <laughs> So I actually have this, you know, you put your phone in it and it can go on your arm. But I'm not going to lie, I don't use it. <laughs> so this is just in there, you know, it's just in there just in case. I'm a just in case person. The rest of the things I'm going to show you in my bag is much of them is just in case. Actually, there's one more thing that is a, is a necessity and it's my ladies bag. So if you're a lady, make sure you watch the section. But basically, I have this, but I never have headphones, so it's just irrelevant. Again, if you want to bless me, link in the description box below. So I've got pins, so these pins stay in my bag for competitions, so pins for your numbers, I always keep pins with me, most of the time they do give us pins but some competitions they don't so I always have them just in case, got my purse, got my hand, tripod, whatever you want to call this thing, or if I'm doing vlogging, haven't vlogged in a hot minute because I haven't actually competed yet but maybe when you're watching this video I may have competed in maybe a vlog but if you haven't seen any of my vlogs I encourage you to check this vlog out that I've chosen to select I don't know which one it is <laughs> but basically watch that vlog to get to know me as an athlete see what my journey follow me on my journey right so we're moving on to like the hygiene stuff I always have deodorant in my bag this is not the deodorant I use regularly but this one I keep in my bag just as a spare so I've got my ladies bag 
As a lady, I encourage you to have one of these because you don't know what's going to happen. I've got my ladies bag, but I also have a few other essentials in there as well. So obviously as a lady, you want to have your, you know, your stuff for the time of the month. Make sure you've got your spare underwear because accidents happen and you just don't know what could happen. So whatever it is that you use, make sure you've got that to hand. Have it in a ladies bag so that you have that all nice and kept for you. Have a bag specifically for training, just like you do in your handbag. Well, you might not, but if you do, like you do in your handbag, have one specific for your trainer. That's what I do. I always have spare, even if it's for somebody else, I always have spare. So if anyone asks me, do you have something, I can help them out. But I'll also keep in this bag, Kinesio tape. So I may do a video about Kinesio tape and how to maybe shut up your Achilles or your knee or something like that. But I keep this and a little pair of scissors so I can actually cut it. I also keep Voltaro to hand, so maybe you want to keep Deep Heat in there and Tiger Balm or something like that. So just keeping some kind of gel, rub, whatever, because you know you might have tight muscles, sore muscles, whatever, and having that to hand is always going to be useful. So I do wear glasses, obviously you've seen in my other videos, you know that I wear glasses. So I have my contact lenses in there, I have ibuprofen in there or paracetamol just to hand, because you just never know what you might need. So this is my, let's just say my emergency bag. Now everyone knows if they see Shuba carrying this bag, exactly where she's going. Okay, so last but not least, I'm just going to say I've got... I have two, because sometimes it's extra. I told you that already. But I have spare t-shirts, <laughs> spare t-shirt. I also have, for the winter, hats, socks, <laughs> even though it's summer. But like I said, you just never know in England. The last two things that I'm going to show you, I have a tape measure. No, I don't need to measure my blocks anymore, I use my feet. But if I'm measuring out, like if I'm doing something long jump or something like that, or bounding, then I might want to measure. Woo! I can still use it to measure. And then this has all my cards for the facilities that I use. I keep this in my trainer bag as well so that I can enter the facility. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. But let me know, is there anything that I have in my training bag that you think you might want to add to yours? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know in the comment section below as well, what are your go-tos, what do you keep in your training bag? And if you are enjoying the content I'm making here guys, please check out my Patreon, where you can support me for a small amount monthly, which just allows me to keep creating content like this for you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you know what to do, subscribe now and hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next Friday.